This is Jim Cornette, and I'm speaking out. That bald-headed little fucking midget Jew, Rick Bassman, is circulating a cartoon of him choking me out. And that makes me mad. Capital M, capital A, capital D, mad. It makes me threaten more than ever that I'm going to school fuck that little midget fuck, that little bald-headed midget fuck choking me out. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, I'll skull fuck Rick ass man, all right. And I'll do all kinds of other fun things to ass man. I mean, uh, ah hell, he's gonna got me all pissed off now, all riled up. Yeah, I'll skull fuck his little midget skull. Forget the fact that I'm a lying, two-faced, racist, homophobic, misogynistic, disability-hating, bipolar mania. I, I mean, yeah, ugh, forget that. Forget that. Because today, I'm speaking out. And I'm Jim Cornette. And uh, I'm so mad, I, I just... Bitch. Jim? Jim, are you okay? What, what's that, guys? What? Oh. I've heard that, uh, Cornette's had some sort of little episode. Wait, guys, sorry? No, he's had a big episode. Apparently, Jim Cornette cannot talk. Well, take that in for a moment. I thought nothing would ever create a situation to shut that guy's mouth. Wow. Well, Jim, Jim, man, I hope you're okay. I really do, for a lot of reasons. I'm also disappointed, because for the past 20 years, man, you've been telling half- truths, making giant swerves, and just outright lie after lie after lie about me. And I really thought tonight was going to be the night, face-to-face, -face, or over video at least, we were going to go through all of your lies, one after the other, and find the truth, refute all that BS you've been spewing for so many years. But I guess it's not meant to be. So Jim, let's regroup. Let's do it later. If we can't get it together, everybody, one week from tonight, Thursday, August 20th, I'll be back. We're going to go through all these lies Cornette's told about me all these years, and we're going to get to the truth. And until then, Jim, I've got a little something else for you. For years, you've been threatening to skull fuck me, to cause me physical harm, to leave my corpse in a ditch. Well, you know what? We're not getting any younger, buddy. So once and for all, let's just get to it. Let's fight, Jimmy. You are older, but only by 40 days, so let's call that one a wash. Wikipedia says you're six foot one, so you've got me by a full nine inches there. Wiki also says you're 230 pounds. I've heard reports that you're up to 300, so for now, let's split the difference and say 265, which you're right at heavyweight, super heavyweight, doesn't it? Regardless, you've got me by 125, 130 pounds there. I'm good with that. Fact is, compared to me, you're a towering specimen of manhood, a golden god, Jim. Now, I've heard that you may have some heart issues, but I hope not, man, truly, I hope not. One, because I don't wish ill on anybody. I, you'd have no idea what that feels like, I'm sure, but I, I really don't. I want the best for everybody. What does it feel like, Jim, to be so dark, so ugly inside, that you constantly have the need to spew hatred toward others? The evil that you've done, man, all the arrests, I've never been arrested. Maybe that's a badge of dishonor in your eyes. I don't know. And oh man, the stories we used to hear back in UPW from the fun games you and the missus encouraged the boys to play. Wow. Uh, this all goes to character, does it not, Jim? The stuff you're always accusing others of. Talk to the women that were at UPW. Cheerleader Melissa, Muffy Mauer, Looney Lane, Sadist, Victoria, Sarah Del Rey, Ivory. Dude, talk to any of them. Ask them how they were treated. I bet that you'll find to a person, they'll tell you they were treated with respect. Does any of this even begin to resonate with a vile being like yourself, Jim? All right, man, I pulled a cornet. I digressed all over the place. So back to why I hope you're okay. The first reason, man, first and foremost, believe it or not, is that you are a fellow human being. The second reason, Jim, that I hope you're around for a long time and so you can continue to amuse me and everybody else who you amuse. And three, man, because maybe we're finally going to get to it, and I don't want you opting out for a heart condition, all right? I mean, let's talk about the medical situation and your heart, or complete lack thereof. I mean, for my history, stage four lung cancer, I've been shot, I've been stabbed, two major shoulder reconstructions, four very major spine surgeries, 
accompanied by some gnarly infections. MRSA, STAP, pumped me so full of vancomycin and antibiotic to fight that that it killed both my kidneys. On to dialysis. And then, because of that, two strokes, and to top that off, a heart attack. So, medical advantage, Cornet, again, man, you are stacking up to be the winner on every single tip here, Jim. But you know what? It's okay. I'm ready to go for it. Compared to me, you're a medical marvel. Compared to me, you, in fact, are a towering specimen of manhood. All that said, Jim, I, against all odds, I want to take a shot. I'm feeling fine and I'm strong again, and at a monster five foot four and 135 pounds, Jim, I'm as ready as I'll ever be to fight. But I do have a few conditions, Jim. Now, I doubt that we're gonna get that old carcass of yours loaded up on Ritalin and get you on an airplane. We all know the stories about Jim Cornette not wanting to fly. So, condition number one, I buy a plane ticket and I fly to Louisville. Done, that's easy, right? Two, we meet at a location of your choosing in Louisville or wherever around there that you would like to choose as long as it has a cage. We sign releases fully absolving one another of any and all liability. Then we get into the cage and we lock that door behind us. I say UFC rules, the early UFC rules, or even less than that. You know, Jim, I don't hold anything personal against anybody. Life's just too short for that. Yeah, Jim, and so am I. I I heard it coming. But I do have a problem with these mean-spirited attacks you continue to make on one person after another, myself included. Because like yourself, Jim, they too are human beings. No one deserves that kind of hate being slung their way. It's just not cool. So for everyone you've attacked, for everyone you've ever threatened with violence, with physical harm, hell, for all the times you threatened to skull fuck me and do things with my corpse, let's finally give you the opportunity you've been clamoring for. Let's do it, Jim.